Two together, so we've got E, drinks machines, drinks machines. I've never been keen on drinks machines, that's the colours. One, two, three, four. E, drinks machines, drinks machines. I've never been keen on drinks machines. Coffee, coffee. Tastes like money was ground this morning, so it should. Insert coins, coins return. Insert coins, coins return. Cup tops down, fingers burn. Why do I never learn? Oh, ah. Oh, E, spilled it off my flipping tea down to the chorus. E, drinks machines, drinks machines. I've never been keen on drinks machines. I want P, 2, P, 5, P, 10, 20, P, 50, start again. White, black, extra white, normal whipped, it tastes like dirt. E, drinks machines, drinks machines. I've never been keen on drinks machines. You can get chocolate, you can get pop, don't press that button, it won't stop. Dripping, spilling, slopping, slipping, sliding, screaming, diving, swimming in a sea of chocolate soup. In a sea of chocolate soup, last time for the chorus. E, drinks machines, drinks machines. I've never been keen on drinks machines. Well, Johnny, that's the corner. Johnny, we require we now start to create the interactive cartoon. So let me introduce my companion name, Mr. Tony Usman. Tony Usman's one of yes. Oh yes. Tony Usman's one of Britain's leading cartoonists within his price range, and he. <laughs> He's won gag cartoonist of the year. How many times, Tony? 15 years? 15 years. He's, he's, um, he's done a daily cartoon for the Times for many years, done cartoons for the Sunday Express, cartoons for the Nursing Standard, cartoons for Golf International, cartoons for Health. Tony, the oldie. Private Eye. Private Eye. He does the jobs in Private Eye. Thank you, Private Eye. Tony does the jobs in Private Eye. What else, Tony? Spectre. Playboy. Playboy. <laughs> That's the Wirral Playboy. It's got us. <laughs> I'm reading for the articles. And, uh, it's great to have Tony, as you see Tony's drawing the outside of the film. We're going to pretend, because it's such a lovely old building, the Philharmonic Hall, lovely old building. We're going to pretend it's midnight, midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. I'm going to write it to the end, on this very ancient picture. It's on its way out. Do you know this pen? Beryl Driver. <laughs> nice girl. <laughs> and her sister. This, uh, sometimes you get a budget trapped in these pens. The speech to you from beyond the budgie grave. <laughs> that may not happen tonight, or it may. <laughs> <laughs> it speaks from behind the bell. Yes, take your time, madam, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> it speaks from behind the bell. Oh, this one, Tony. Midnight! <laughs> <laughs> it's like meeting a man from Denmark. <laughs> Don't worry if you can't read me right. It's only made them work. Midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. Lovely rhythm is that. Most languages you know has got rhythm. It's fantastic. Lovely rhythmic phrase. We'll say it three times. I'll go one, two, three, four. I'll go midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. Midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. Midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. <laughs> Sounds great. Give it a bit of gravitas. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. It's midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. It's midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. Oh, the rhythm of that is great. The way it builds. I think it needs a ooh. 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 Well, see, it needs an eye to go home again. So it's midnight. In the oh. and we go, oh, let's try that. Let's try that. Sounding so good. Save your tickets, because in years to come, people will pretend they were here and weren't. <laughs> So we were there that night and made up the interactive. But sometimes we'll give with Andrew Motion, the former poet, poet laureate. Sometimes he does this. You have to make sure. I've known him for years, Andrew Motion. He used to be called Andrew Still. <laughs> <laughs> Never get anywhere with him like that. Change his name, doesn't let So we go. One, two, three, four. Midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. It's midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. It's midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. Ooh. I don't know why I'm walking home now. It's just six to eight. So. Bear in mind that we're making this up. <laughs> it's not true. Sometimes we've done this in villages and people send us local history books through the post and I'm honour bound contractually to throw them in the fire. <laughs> because it's all made up. So, what might we see on here at midnight in the Philharmonic Hall? I do find with this that telepathy is no good <laughs> because I have no receiving equipment. So what might we see on here at midnight in the Philharmonic Hall? Any ideas? Pardon? 
I know that, but try and get him to draw that. We know the clothes, we know the clothes. Yes, we know that. So what might we see? The Phantom of the Opera. Pardon? The Phantom of the Opera and an orchestra. <laughs> Take your time, Tony, we'll have a cup of tea. The Lost Chord. The Lost Chord! Draw that. The Phantom. This is great. I'm going to put the Phantom of the Opera. This is good. The Phantom of the Opera and the Lost Chord. Lost Chord. Chord. And. The orchestra! <laughs> you have to do well, Tony. <laughs> He's not going to be timpani. <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera and the Lost Chord. the phone because he's lost the chord. Hey! Hey! Dad, Dad, Tony, to the ears. So. <laughs> that's good, that's good. That's great, Tony, that's really good. Phantom of the Opera looks like a moth. Phantom of the Opera. The old Phantom of the Opera moth. So. Moth? Moth! Clever people here. Yeah? One or two with jobs, a couple of owner occupiers, not the normal audience. I think <laughs> we can think of a rhyme for chord that fits the point. So it goes: the Phantom of the Opera and the Lost Chord and the Orchestra. We're really bored. We're really bored. That's right, because something's about to happen. The Phantom and the Orchestra. Let's pretend that you know the show like Phantom of the Opera. We've all seen these touring musicals where it's obvious they're only going through the motions. We have them at the Lyceum in Sheffield, me and my wife love musicals. Sometimes you can tell. So the orchestra and the cast are really bored because something's about to happen. We're really bored! This is great. The Phantom of the Opera and the Lost Chord and the orchestra were really bored. They're down, they're bored, they're asleep. <laughs> Who's that lady? Oh, it's a cello. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 90 piece orchestra, Tony. <laughs> Keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> so anyway, let's try it. Come in. Where's the dance with the opera? <laughs> right. Let's try the whole thing from the start. This is great. Sometimes it doesn't work. What you need for this is like we've got tonight a willing audience. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. We were in a village hall in, near Boston in Lincolnshire called Old Leak. I said, right, I'm going to make a thing up about Old Leak. He spoke his hand up, he says, it's not Old Leak, it's Old Leak. I said, oh, I'm sorry, what can you tell me about Old Leak? And he went, it's unique. <laughs> <laughs> so we all this thing, they went, Old Leak, it is unique. Anyway, let's try it. <laughs> Big night, the on call, ooh, the Phantom of the Opera, and the Lost Chord, and the Orchestra were really bored. <coughs> As you see, they're, oh, no, we got to. <laughs> One, two, three. Midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. It's midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. It's midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. Ooh, what's that I see? The Phantom of the Opera and the Lost God and the Orchestra were really bored. What, do, what that does is beautifully, doesn't it? The rhythm of that, the rhythm, the narrative, the language of it sets up that something's about to happen. So, when suddenly. They don't like shouting, as you see. <laughs> when suddenly, from the stalls. When suddenly, from the stalls. Now, we've set up this A, B, A, B rhyme, so we don't have to rhyme this next line. When suddenly, from the stalls. <laughs> a figure. <laughs> <laughs> a figure slowly rose. That's good. A figure, a figure coming from the stalls. But suddenly from the stalls, a figure slowly rose. God, this is so great. You really had to say slowly rose. A figure slowly rose. A figure slowly rose. There's a figure. One thousand. There's a big figure. It's a big figure, ladies and gentlemen. It's a huge figure tonight here at the Philharmonic Hall. <laughs> A figure. No wonder it's broken. Pardon? No wonder it's broken. I know, that's true. That's a fact. A figure slowly rose. There's the figure slowly rising. <laughs> when suddenly from the stalls, a figure slowly rose. What could rhyme with stalls? We're all adults here. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Ball. Ed Ball, I come in. When 
took all the stones, the figure slowly rose. Ed Bowles. You have to be Ed Bowles, wouldn't it? It looked like him, it weren't actually him. The figure slowly rose. It looked like old Ed Bowles. This is great. And when suddenly from the stones, a figure slowly rose, it looked like old Ed Bowles. Something calls. It's your right with Bowles. With Rose. Froze, that's good. He looked like old Ed Bowles, but he was completely froze. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that was Ed Bowles in the room for a minute. <laughs> but he was completely froze. Oh, this is great. When suddenly from the stalls a figure slowly rose, it looked like old Ed Bowles, but he was completely froze. <laughs> he carried in his hand. What did he carry in his hand? We can't get this wrong, legend. We can't get this wrong. This is not an exam. Right? We can't get this wrong. He carried in his hand. There he goes. He his hand. He's frozen. He's frozen. These are icicles. He carried in his hand. What? <laughs> Who's going to assist me then? We haven't got anything. Alright. That's what we want from that. Sorry. There must be something, Lady John. There must be something. The leader of the band. The leader of the band. They're not bothered about this A B A B rhyme. They just don't want it. They just don't want it. They just don't want it. He carried his hand. The leader of the band. This is great. Oops. <laughs> He carried, thank you, sir. He carried in his hand the leader of the band. There you go, band leader. There's the band leader in his hand. When suddenly from the stones, a figure slowly rose. It looked like old Ed Bones, but he was completely froze. He carried in his hand the leader of the band. Now, we're clever people here. We can go back to that uh, rose and froze rhyme. This was right on the wall of the Literature Festival. <laughs> We've done this in Village Hall. No chance. Let's do it, let's just do it. Get ourselves back in the mood. This is great. This honestly is one of the best we've ever done. We <laughs> <laughs> normally have no, no narrative occasion <coughs> like this. You know how just about <coughs> I'm going to go out and come in. And I'm going to pretend that I'm a traveller from a far land. I'm going to go, I'm a traveller from a far land. <laughs> And know not where I've been or what time it is, and you go midnight. <laughs> and that's done. Let's pretend I'm carrying. What could this be? I know it's a roll of gaffer tape. What could the sacred object be? How long, man? The pommel. Take that photo, Emma, take it. Harry, look after me, Vince. <laughs> This is a sacred ball I'm at the Philharmonic Hall. I've lost these many years. I'm going to go out and come in. When I come through the door, I'm going to pretend to bang me head on the door. But only for cheap comedy for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm take you back. <laughs> mother, 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 calm down. <laughs> she comes on at every saxophone. Mother, calm down. <laughs> I'm a traveller from a far land and know not where I've been or what time it is. Well, it's midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. It's midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. It's midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. The Phantom of the Opera and the Lost God and the Orchestra were really bored, but when suddenly from the stalls a figure slowly rose, it looked like old Ed Balls, and he was completely froze. He carried in his hand the leader of the band. He's got to run with froze. Who he was, nobody knows. That's good. Who he was. Who? 
front. <laughs> who, he, who he was, nobody knows. I think we'll do that bit and we'll kind of fade it out a bit. <laughs> fade it up this mystery person. Who the F is he? <laughs> Not in Manchester now, don't he? <laughs> who he was, nobody knows. Do we go? Nobody knows. <laughs> I prefer that to when people pretend they're not yawning. <laughs> Sometimes people go, <laughs> just yawn, just yawn. <laughs> do this for here, we go. He covered, he carried in his hand, the leader of the band, who he was, nobody knows. Nobody knows. We'll fade it out after four. <laughs> he carried in his hand, the leader of the band. Who he was, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Mm. Let's invent a name for the leader of the band. We can't get Horace. Horace. That's his first name, Horace. McMorris. Horace McMorris, that's it. <laughs> Horace McMorris, be the scuttling Scotsman. Oh, Horace McMorris. <laughs> Apologies to the Scot in the room. The Horace, it's, it's Horace from Morris. <laughs> oh, it's Horace from Morris. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's like the Iron Jolly Comedian, isn't it? <laughs> Horace, Matt Morris, the leader. Horace, the Morris, the band leader. Horace McMorris. That's a Kerry, by the way. That's a Kerry, that's a Kerry. <laughs> Horace McMorris, the band leader. What could rhyme with Morris and Horace? We set up a great rhyme scheme here, this is great. Horace McMorris, the band leader. Horace? He came from the forest. <laughs> that's his Kerry, that's the forest. <laughs> I knew it. It's like my bed. <laughs> He came free! The forest. I'm allowed to do this because I'm half Scottish. I came free in the forest! Horace McMorris, the band leader, he came free in the forest! He's got to have a leader. Oh. We're not allowed to say he was a silly leader. <laughs> <laughs> what can we put? What can we put? Look at that, he's in the forest. That's fantastic, Tony. Horace McMorris, the band leader, in game free the forest. Singing German leader. Singing German leader. Oh, that's fantastic, sir. It's like the, it's like the Renaissance in here, isn't it? It's great. Sir, <laughs> not quite as good. Singing German songs, Singing German leader. Now, as you know, the word leader, the German word for song, often catches me out. Is it I, E, or E, I? It goes against what you think, doesn't it? Is it I? Is it? Yes. So it's I E L E E D I. That's a joke that didn't come <laughs> out. <laughs> but there you go. I gave it a go. I gave it a go. So, you're right, Eddie. Yeah. So, this one we'll sing. We'll sing this one. The tune is Horace McMorris, the band leader. He gave Fred the Forest, singing in German leader. <laughs> Roll your arms like my dad used to. Let's have a go. My dad was that rare thing, a teetotal Scottish sailor. There are very few of them. They have quite dull AGMs involving discussions on Vimto and Ribena. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about uh, Vimto, Bolton on Bolton Lancashire Station have got a new uh, buffy now, and the old buffy was a fantastic sign. It said, Meal deal, warm Vimto, hard boiled egg, jolly cake, £3.50. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Lancashire meal deal, eh, John? Let's get to Bolton. <laughs> Yeah, that's all. Let's sing a song, let's sing a song. You don't have to roll your eyes as ridiculous as I was doing it, I was just being down. One, two, three, four. Horace my Morris, be band leader, Ricky Bray the Morris, singing German leader. Horace my Morris. He was weeping. Why was he crying? He cries weeping. He's happy there, he's happy there, ladies and gentlemen. So he's happy, he's greeting, as they say in Scotland, he's greeting. Meet and greet, that's the name of the sad budget. 
Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> that's just feel joke. That's, that's your sad now, Tony. Look, he's greeted. He starts crying. Yeah, it's that you. Horace, come in. Horace McMorris, the band leader. He came from the forest, singing German leader. Horace McMorris, he was weeping. So, really, you go around weeping somehow. The song, the piece has taken a tragic turn. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. He because lost the band his sparring. He's lost his sparring. What? Because the band was sleeping. Because the band was sleeping, exactly. Uh, Very clever, going back to that first verse <laughs> that the rest of us have forgotten about. That's really good. We're <laughs> just messing him up. But he's holding it all together like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> because the band was sleeping, Tony, back in the thing. <laughs> he will weep in because the band was sleeping. Oh, it's great. Do the whole thing from the start. Okay. The whole thing. Mrs. Sam is so good. We call it, we call it. The film. Yeah, don't worry. Next we'll silhouettes. We're going live. The paper matching models. We're going we'll live, Ian. We're going out live. <laughs> Facebook livers, Facebook livers. We are, yeah. Then, Harry, you play the part then in a minute of the ghost of Horace McMorris. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you'd like to stand over here, Harry, come here. Stand here, stand here, stand here. Stand here. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bro. Stand up, it's great, it's great, it's really good. Great, it's done, isn't it? Great. With infants, I always go, hey, there was a fish in here before. And the infants go, ooh, that man's done good fish. And some things make infants laugh, they make nobody else laugh, ever. Got my bottle of water, I always go, hey, still water. And they go, ha ha. And after half an hour, I go, what? Still water. <laughs> Let's do that joke, and obviously it's a laugh, don't it? <clears throat> I packed up my job at the helium balloon factory. Why is that, you know? I'm not having people talking to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Same feed line, Tony, different guy. <laughs> my Uncle Frank can't get off the floor. Why is that, you know? He's got prostrate trouble. <laughs> First one is funny, isn't it? That's true. <laughs> what did the Yorkshireman do when he ran out of solitude? Can't the stuff. Eat by gum. <laughs> <laughs> Eat by gum, you're right to repeat it. Yeah, that's, right. That's, right. That's, right. that's where Yorkshire people buy all the stuff on the internet, isn't it? That's right, eat by gum. <laughs> eat by gum, mate, that's right. What's the other one you do? What's the other one about? I can't say me have some teas. Um, you told me that one, you? Can't tell me some teeth, but you can't say further than that. I can't tell you how yeah. to spell something. It's all about the obvious present. So, we're going to come in, we're going to do the whole thing from the start, the whole epic from the start. Then we're going to turn, we're going to see the wraith of Horace McMorris <laughs> approach us through the Stygian gloom. I mean, witness. So, <laughs> move this, because tell you what, I often forget it, I often leave it on. Yeah. I've built a model of Everest. Is it to scale or no, just to look at it? <laughs> mother, mother, sit down! <laughs> Just for a laugh, I'll pretend to be from Lancashire. <coughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm from Lancashire. Am I not? Uh, don't know what time it is or where well, I am to have turned up. It's midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. Midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. Just don't want to laugh. Midnight in the Philharmonic Hall. Ooh, the Phantom of the Opera and the Lost Chord and the Orchestra were really bored. When suddenly from the stalls a figure slowly rose. He looked like old Ed Balls, but he was completely froze. He carried in his hand. The leader of the band. And he was, who he was? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> Bit of bathos there, then. <coughs> Wyatt, don't forget we're singing this like an eightsome reel. <laughs> Pretend that we're in the brooms. I'll be Horace. You'll be Dan. I used to fancy, what was her name? What was that? Daphne's sister? Maggie. 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 
We're making this up. <laughs> we're, we're just not we're, we're way, way back. Wait, was, was it Phil Harmonix? It was Phil Harmonix. Phil Harmonix, that's right. What did he use to play? Well, that's right, he did, Tony. It was old Phil Harmonix. Who was just? Yes, the old, he used to play the harmonica. That's right. That's what he's named after, isn't it? It was his home. Yeah. <coughs> Phil. <laughs> Good gaffer day, this. He's still taking out movie now. I have to stay. I'm not supposed to be staying in the glamorous Premier Inn stuff, but I'm going to have to stay in. Right, so. <coughs> Phil. Sit down. <laughs> Phil. Harmonic. Wants. His bracelet. Back. <laughs> We're quite dramatic, couldn't we? Go, Phil, harmonic, wants his bracelet. Let's try singing that. Sound good. One, two, three, four. Phil, harmonic, wants his bracelet. Climax of the song, so there's no pressure on us. Anything good? He hasn't got the knack. He hasn't got the knack, but he can't have it. He hasn't got the knack. That's good. Makes no sense. No, <laughs> <laughs> does any of the rest. Phil Armory wants his bracelet back, but he can't have it. He hasn't got the knack. He lost it in the music room. In 1856. I know it was supposed to be thinking. Lost it in the music room in 1856. And he can't get it back. And he can't get it back. So it goes. Phil Harmonic wants his bracelet back, but he can't have it, he hasn't got the knack. He lost it in the music room in 1856, and he can't get it back because machine fixed. fixed. His time machine's not fixed. Not fit. Build that. His time machine is not fit. It's out of whack. You've got to travelling all of a time, haven't you? It's out of whack, his time machine. His time machine's out of whack. Yeah. I know I'm going to pull for him. <laughs> I've lost him now. I've lost him now. I've lost him now. His time machine's out of whack. It's fantastic. That's like a euphemism. Aye, aye, aye. I've got to pull my time machine down. <laughs> We're going to do the whole thing from the start, then we'll stop. You're doing so well. This is the best we've ever done. <laughs> They're not rubbish. This is fun. This is fun. This looks like some kind of door. No, I thought it was a door. You'll be back. Well, what we could all do might be is out of a different door. <laughs> Apart from one volunteer who puts Christmas decorations. <laughs> when he comes back, he'll go, I've been gone a long time. <laughs> the time machine's out and away. <laughs> I like the way you just left, that was good. Sometimes when people leave, they, they, they think that by bowing their heads, they become invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to see him. <laughs> Where's he gone? I can't see him. Where's he gone? <laughs> right, Tom, you ready, mate? Yeah. Hey, look at that. This time, I present to be the, the late Reverend Ian Fraser. Hey! I'm a trawler! I'm a forehand! I don't know where I'd be when I die! Stores, a figure arose. 
It looked like Ahmed Balls, but it was completely froze. He carried in his hand the leader of the band. Who he was, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> it was Paris, Paris, the band leader. He gave me Paris, singing the leader. Paris, Paris. He was weeping, because the band was sleeping on the audience. They're greeting. That's the end of the song. <gasps> ah, is the phantom of Hollis McManus the return from beyond the gravy? <laughs> Place the bridge. Only, ah, that really hurt, ladies and gentlemen, that really hurt. Rest is so fine. That's right, it's the old bracelet. The Philharmonic wants his bracelet back, but he can't have it, he hasn't got the nap. He lost it in the museum in 1856 and he can't let it back because his time machine's out of whack. Let's sing that. It's beautiful. We'll sing it slowly, with feeling, I think. Because it is a kind of, almost a kind of, bit of a blues or something, yeah. Fell in love. I can't, I can't, I don't know why I'm doing that, silly thing. Fell in love, he wants his bracelet back, but he can't have it because he hasn't got the neck. He lost it in the music room in 1856, and he died get his back. He died for she's out of whack. Hey, up. <laughs> I was possessed there by the demon of Pine Top Perkins. So that was the that was, that was the kind of climax of the show. So I'll ask Mr. Tony Osmond to step forward, and we'll both bow because Mr. Tony Osmond is a genius. Yeah.